welcome to a what's today today Thursday episode of Thrifty oh, Business Tuesday Tuesday episode. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Tuesday episode of Thrifty Business Thrift Hall. And we got a, a full house today. Oh, yeah. We got mom sitting next to me and we have an audience cam today. <laughs> and there's Stacy and Stephanie. What's happening, everybody? Yeah, Stacy, yeah. Stephanie, Stacy, Stephanie on Thursday. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Mom, uh, mom's been here for uh, about a week and she'll be here for a week longer. So yeah. we've done some thrifting. I seem to have lost a bag of thrifting goodies, so I'm going to be sharing oh. some CDs with you. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what I lost. In so other words, we cleaned too good. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> we cleaned for a party, and I don't know where the bag I thought was the thrifted goodies was the the stuff to return in. Oh, whoops. Where am I hearing it from? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Live audience oh. got their phones on. What in the heck? I love uh, <laughs> Jeez, you can, you'd be thrown out if you're in a sitcom right now. <laughs> so what's going on, everybody? Uh, yeah, let's get to it. This is our only show this week since uh, I am off to Denver tomorrow to teach some classes. And uh, all right, let's yeah. let's cruise on through. So uh, I'm gonna save that one for last. Okay. So mom and I were in the thrift store, and she moved ahead of me because I was scanning CDs. I said, "Hey, do you look in the blanket section? Because you left a good one there." She goes, "Oh no, I didn't. I didn't." So here it is for $5. I'll show you the tag first. There we go. Oh, come on. Is it there? Yeah. Is it focusing out? No. The lights messed up. All right. It's a beater lac made in Germany. Now, usually, here, hold that up, would you? Mm -hmm. Usually it's an animal or some licensed thing. I think this beater lac is just like a stained glass looking one. That's Hello. Pretty, I mean, that, that's a really. Cool and it wasn't blanket. the biggest blanket, but for five dollars, oh, I thought, yeah. what the heck? Oh yeah, colors are great. I think. Yeah. Really. Pretty. By the way, every thing, single thing you see, if you like something, it will be for sale. So mm -hmm. let us know. Okay. Oh. Whoa, no! What happened? Make it a mess. Uh -oh. Make it a mess. Okay. All right. So let's talk bags. Is that where we get these? State. Uh, the, uh, state sale. Oh. oh yeah, these are really nice. State sale for three dollars for the pair, right? They were free. Oh, that's right. These were free. We were buying some other stuff. You want me to just tell the whole story? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I found them. I forgot to say that part. Probably. Stacy found them. Okay, smarty pants. <laughs> should I just leave and you can uh, take over the show? I didn't get anything right yet, so I figured maybe I should just dive in. <laughs> so these were at an estate sale. This, that's. I mean, those are really cool. And there is not one, but two. Yeah, very, very <laughs> nice. So they end up being free, and uh, they're in pretty good shape. Other than they've been sitting like this for far too long. So I think I'm going to do get a hair dryer action out, warm it up Stop a little them. bit, yeah. and then get them uh, popped out, stuff them, and let them sit for a little bit, <clears throat> stuffed nice and and big. So for free, what are you going to sell them for? Do you know, honey? One million dollars. I don't know. I haven't looked yeah, them sure, up. Yep. Yeah. No. Nope. How long has that hacienda been gone? Oh, a long, long time. Long time. Yeah. So speaking of kick-ass bags, and some of you saw it on another show. Here is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles backpack that makes you look like a turtle. <laughs> and uh, one of the guests in the live studio yeah, audience said she might want to buy that. So I've never sold already. I've oh, never no. sold to the studio audience before, <laughs> the live studio audience before. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I went to the bag section and I just said to myself, I said, Self, I want to find something some nerds would love. And then here it is. And then we got yeah. nerds too. So perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, and that was uh, four dollars. That's a goodie. Yeah. Yep. And then I don't know a ton about women's shoes, but when I see something sparkly that it's easy to look up, I do just that. So here's these kick-ass boots. What size we got? And uh, they're made by uh, Caparos. And I looked them up, and this exact pair sold for uh, forty-eight dollars. Kind of matches your blanket. Yeah, it yeah. does match yeah. the blanket. Yeah. Holy crap. It is, it is <laughs> You're right, it does. What size, honey? What size? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Probably way down in there. Yeah, the bottom. Yeah. Down on the bottom of the shoe. Yeah. But these were uh these were 10 bucks. So to flip them for 50, I'm I'm cool with that. And plus it'll be easy. Sell similar, it's the exact same pair of boots. Yeah. And just clean up the listing a little bit and away it goes. Okay. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Angela's saying, please be my size. All right. 
if you want, if you want to know the size of those boots are attracted to you, just message me on Facebook and I'll find it after the show. I'll, I'll, I'll we'll get down in there. I will get down in there. Where was this one from? I forget. At the uh, sale we went to, your friend's sale. Oh, well, that goes with that bag. Okay. Why is that out? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Also, the estate sale, which we paid for, was this. Oh, this, this is a beauty. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> I did it so good yesterday. <laughs> Took a, little, took a little warm up. Means the bar is open. This is a helmet, right? Yeah. So this is a helmet shell. This one's really big and yeah. really nice. The hole is cut in the top so they can get the animal out and eat it, but then it turns into that nice, hey, uh, time for the luau sound. Right. Mom's jealous. That's a beauty. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this, uh, if I was to sell it, uh, probably get at least 50 to 75 for that one. Absolutely. Yep. So keep your eyes peeled for a seizure. And this was in the ad for the estate sale. And it's one of the things I went there for. And where they had a place was up high and no one could reach it, not even me. So mm -hmm. wow. of course it was still <laughs> sitting there when I got there because no one else could reach it. So that was uh, that was that, pretty cool. That, that's, that's a good one. That's a beauty. And this was Sabres, right? I can't tell. Or no. Uh, Buffalo. So Buffalo Exchange, little upcycle action. Check out that purse. I know. Isn't that a beauty? And show the inside. Oh, I'm going to show the inside. Out. And they really uh, did this well. It's got the pockets on the inside. Oh, nice. It's got this Zipper. cool cool lining. It's zippered. Yeah. Whoever did this did a lot of work. And Buffalo Exchange only sold for $13. Yeah, you'd get an easy 40, 50 bucks out of that. Yeah. Think. And it's big, as you can see. It's yeah. a big purse. So it's you really can carry cool. all your ladies, you can carry all your stuff. <laughs> Angela wants to know if people eat what comes out of that shell. Yes, they do they eat do. what comes out of that shell. Mm -hmm. And Debbie says it sounds like the horn by the prison by her house. <laughs> <laughs> Is the prison by your house Polynesian? <laughs> you know, I know this could double as if you have one of them rough nights where you're like you poop yourself or something, you just put holes in the bottom, and there you go. You got a, you got a new skirt to go home with. <laughs> with you a, carry your chihuahua. With a strap yeah. to hold it up, too. You can put yeah. your legs through it, and there you go. Oh, my God. No? <laughs> no. No. Why is it the first thing that came to your head? Yeah, that, the visual, that's bad. <laughs> it wasn't the first. It was the third. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the first two were. Oh, and then uh, also at Buffalo Exchange, a different visit to Buffalo Exchange, I got these three shirts. So this one's pretty cool. It's unlike any Hawaiian shirt I've ever seen. It's uh, The brand is Paradise of the Pacific, which I didn't know. That's really nice. But that is uh, amazing, especially with the, the rainbow colors on the sleeve, too, mm -hmm. and the pocket. Yeah, that's really a nice one. Well, that's a kick-ass Hawaiian shirt that I will price uh, appropriately. I did pay 20 bucks for it, and I'm going to list it for probably $100. That's nice. But yeah, Susan, if you want that purse, message me on Facebook, and I will hook you up. Also, Betty Betty was part of the 500 Club, uh, the Santa Cruz 500 Club, uh, bowling, obviously. <laughs> the only bummer is something else was, was stitched here and is gone. And there's one more place. I thought there was two. Maybe that was it. Yeah. So, uh, but this was only uh, 13 bucks. And people love these old bowling shirts. Your, your name doesn't have to be Betty. They they love these old bowling shirts. Yeah, they don't care about the name, huh? No. Okay. Uh, and it was uh, Hilton made a lot of bowling shirts. There we go. So, yeah. So, I'll put that for like 50 bucks. Okay. So, if a Betty comes along, though, it's even better. I bet he's coming, but uh, she spells it differently. <laughs> and uh, this is the coolest one I found at uh, Buffalo Exchange, for those of you who know surf music and tiki type stuff. Mm -hmm. The something. Ventures, 30 Years of Rock and Roll. Yeah. So that was a sweet-ass shirt for $12. And it's vintage. It's the 50-50 that I tell you to look for. 50% cotton, 50% poly, made in the USA. Made in the USA. Screen star is best. Yeah, I'm focused. There we go. So that's the kind of tag you're looking for. People look for these vintage Maine the USA 50-50 shirts. And so uh, besides the fact it's got a good topic on it, it's also the kind of shirt that people are looking for. Oh, uh. so, and my last Hawaiian shirt is uh, this one right here. That's different. It's got the Hawaiian uh, record labels on the back. And then uh, Rogers and Hammerstein South Pacific on the front right here. Oh, boy. Is that my size? Well, I don't know. Try it on. <laughs> That's right. No, no, no. But what size is it? 
What's it marked? Uh, well, it's got this weird label, oh, okay. backstage issue. So I don't know if it was made for somebody specifically in the production of um, South, South Pacific. Pacific so no, try, no. try that on, Ma. Yeah, right now? Yeah, right now. Right this very minute. Oh, my goodness. too shabby looking pretty good yeah it is since mom's a huge fan of south pacific oh this would work but if somebody in the chat wants it well i didn't actually you know. find a thrift and i bought it for you surprise oh. <laughs> and i just threw it, it fits. i i planned this whole show to surprise you with a shirt thank you good night <laughs> thank you good night <laughs> He gets me every time, you guys. Those of you who've been around. I lately. saw it in the group. I bought it. We took the post down, I like and I, uh, <laughs> and I've been just waiting to do this show. Thank you. You're welcome, mom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotcha. He got me. He got me good. I really did put this show together today just to give mom a shirt. So <laughs> even, even though we're going to share stuff, yeah, they're so busy, and they're going to leave tomorrow. And I'm like, he <laughs> has to do a thrift haul. How are we going? Let me get all this done, and they got to go. Look how nice it fits, too. Perfect. Perfect. Nice it looks. Like perfect. So yeah. for those you don't know. Uh, mom has a basement, things we don't have in Las Vegas. <laughs> and going down the steps, when she started to turn her house into a tiki lounge, she lined the walls going downstairs with South Pacific Records. So I'm like, I love that idea. So the guest bedroom across the hall here in my house, where she sleeps, is the South Pacific room. So we have this little contest who has the most yep. South Pacific Records. I'm up, I'm up to like 60 different yeah, South Pacific. you got me lately. And we found some wine and eight tracks and cassettes. And so when the, and I forget who's hosting me, I'm so sorry. So I'll yeah. give you props uh, after the show. Oh. Uh, when they found this shirt, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. This is a perfect addition to oh, our South oh, Pacific yeah. collection. I will wear this tonight when we go out. I don't care if it's thrifted or not. <laughs> oh, Donna wants to know if I paid a quarter oh. for it. Oh no, oh. I paid much more than a quarter for it, but it was worth it. Oh, thank but you. But she did, but, but she did give me, and I'm so bummed. I got, I forgot to look at her. She did give me a deal because she knew it was her mom. Oh, thank you. So, whoever's yeah, did this. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank I've had you. so many things going on. All right. Uh, I'll let you show. Oh, oh I'll let okay. you show some stuff. So All where's right. your time? Okay. All right. No. How do you Where'd Atocha go? Well, maybe uh, maybe I can do it from this side. Jason. All right. So I'll move the bag to okay. his. Okay. You know this side. Oh. oh. Oh, what happened? He's coming oh. back. He just lost our life. Technical difficulty. Sorry. <laughs> Joe's just coming back, honey. I hear you, hon. Relax. I, I did. Uh... Hold on, everybody. Hold on. We're getting it back. Okay. I don't know what got pulled, but somehow with the tub, maybe <sighs> the light. <sighs> All right, you can talk. Okay, I'll right. work. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, they can see me. Okay, the first thing I did, uh, 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 like I said, Jason and I went out last week. These are some of the things I found last week, and then Stephanie and I, Stephanie and I went out to date a couple savers. So I'll show you those as we go. Um, this is a hat uh, called the Trilogy uh, in Maui and Lanai. I'm pretty sure this is some of the ships and boats that go out yep. uh, on, on uh, sightseeing tours. And it was a uh, blue label day. So I got it for a buck and a half, guys. And I looked and looking up the trilogies, there's quite a few of these, Jason. I mean, that have sold and they are selling between 15 and 20 bucks. So I paid a buck and a half for that. So that's a nice one. Okay. And. All right. Uh, this I uh, picked up. I don't see many uh, scrubs in my area that are tropical. That's why I like coming to Vegas because uh, this is a oh, pretty one, you guys, and it's brand new. It's new with tag. Okay, and mom paid uh, two dollars and eighty cents for that, and this is about a twenty twenty five dollar one because the tropical ones do sell really well, everybody. So don't pass those up when you see them in the stores because I, I don't even think I have any left because as soon as I put them up, they sell pretty pretty quick. Okay. All right, then I picked this up today, Jason. Look at this. I like this. This is a T-shirt from Bloody Mary's in Bora Bora. Oh, nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Uh, Bloody Mary is, is the... Uh, there. Oh, see? Well, this is. Maybe I should wear this under the, the blouse tonight. <laughs> uh, this is um, an extra large, and I, I got... I have senior discount today is 3% <laughs> off, so I got all my discounts going. So I actually paid $1.75 for this. But I, I've sold Bloody Mary stuff yeah, before. And, it and sells well. It sells real well. I, yep. I know. And mom because getting a Bora Bora ain't cheap. So right. you can skip the whole plane, plane ride and just get the yeah. t-shirt. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, to answer the questions, yeah, we answered that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. How much yeah. is the denim purse? I'll figure it out. So whoever was asking how much the denim purse is, just message me. Uh, Matt Stoll found a South Pacific record today. Thought of us when he found oh, it. Oh, how nice. Uh, Angela said, this is like a clown car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vera says, I hope your back is better soon. Yeah, I got third round of shots in my spine yesterday 
thir third round in six weeks. Yeah, we're feeling okay right now. Felt kind of shitty yesterday, but I'm feeling okay yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, throwback yeah. shack said Atlanta just got the biggest tiki bar in the southeast. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I'm coming. No, okay. I'm coming. All right. Uh, this t shirt just won't sell as well as the last t shirt, but this is a Margaritaville t shirt. And I got it because it's a big size, guys. This is a 2XL and it cost me a dollar sixty. So, you know, I will probably put this up for around twenty, twenty-five dollars on that. They still sell. I mean, he you know, Buffett still sells, so okay. Then I wanted to get into a different piece of pottery. Okay, this is Red Wing pottery, everybody. That's my tag to let me know what, what I want to check. But this is by Red Wing. Still got the original tag, and of course it says USA on it. And I did end up paying, well, by the time the discount rolled around, I paid 10 bucks for this. But the, what do I have on that yellow, yellow ticket? 40 to 50. Yeah, 40 to 50 bucks on Red Wing Pottery. So uh, Jason thought I had a tiki mug. No, you know what this is? This is an uncarved tiki mug. Yeah, could be. There it is. <laughs> it's the bark. <laughs> I've, I've sold yeah, I've sold log little. mugs before from a bar. Yeah. And I, I labeled it as uncarved tiki mug. And I've sold a few of them. Now I hit when we Jason and I hit the Sabres last week. I really hit one section in the men's uh, shirt department of some gorgeous uh, Hawaiian shirts, and uh, they were all kind of grouped together. So I think they came from the same person. I'm going to start with this one just because I love it so. Yeah, mom got to the Hawaiian oh. shirt second before me and just cru <laughs> just crushed it. I know. I mean, this, this so is really some guy either died, lost weight, gained weight, or wow. his wife was just pissed and got rid of right. all his clothes. All right. So this is a Tommy Bahama. It's an extra large, and I, with my discount, I ended up paying seven ninety nine for this. But look at the girls on this, you guys. It's a purple background, which is also different, and I just think it's gorgeous. So I don't know, I'm thinking fifty bucks, Jason. Oh yeah. Yeah, on this one, everyone. I just, just, just love the pattern on that. See, if I hadn't taken mom thrift, then I would have had all these shirts. <laughs> uh, same Tommy Bahama, but this is also a nice looking pattern on this one. It's a little bit different. It's showing the... Um, paradise. Yeah, can you see it? Def definitions of paradise. paradise and right. That fly, uh, fly society. Yeah. And, and just, you know, quite lovely. And I did pay... The, these are all extra larges. And again, these I paid the same price for all of these, seven ninety nine. And Oh, this one's a nice one too, Jason. Too bad these weren't your size. Of course, like you need more Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Another extra large. I love the ladies on this one with the pineapples. The pineapples with the straws. So yeah. there. Yeah. So, so in your title, tiki cocktails will definitely be in your title. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. But I just, you know, just I love the patterns. Some like husband this, lost. All somebody has some nice chase on, on on all of these, you know. And this one is similar to the last one, but a little bit different design. So I didn't want to pass any of these up. I've got a lot of tiki functions that I'll be selling at if I don't sell them online coming up this summer but uh here's the ladies only this time they're sitting on the flowers and the leaves so that quite lovely again extra large same price everybody 7.99 on that okay and one more yes yeah, right you're right wilt magnolia never trust your mother in a thrift store <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but you you got the blanket and i didn't because i didn't yeah, get yeah, the well, these t-shirts are around my blanket yeah. all right another tommy <laughs> um this is an extra large well same same thing all in the same guys this got featuring cigars guys so any men who are the cigar smokers out there uh this would be perfect for them so quite quite i love the patterns i mean i couldn't have fallen in anything better because they were different than the usuals that we see so yep. often so that was nice and one more for now and then we'll go back to you <clears throat> this isn't Tommy. This is but not, it's, but, but and it's a generic brand. Yeah, totally generic brand, but it's a three XL, and that's why I picked it up. I always like to get the but man. Sizes. It's a cool looking shirt. Yeah, so you got the flamingos and the hibiscuses, and the colors are neat and different. You know, with the tea leaves in there as well. So, you know. You yeah, like so it? the brand is. Uh, yeah. What does it say? I don't. Even, Alvish. I, a l v i s h. It's such a non brand. You don't right. even need it in your title. Right. You're gonna write what you see and yeah. uh words like Hawaiian, Aloha but, Friday. You know, don't don't pass up your big sizes no. if, you, if you find it's some cool nice shirt. ones because um this uh tiki flea market that I sell at every year, if this doesn't sell by then, I mean I the big sizes fly off on my rack, so that's why I like to uh kind of move up on those. Okay, next you wanna go back to you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, show a visual on this one. I'm liking my shirt, my blouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, as soon as I saw the record labels, I said, oh, is that neat? It's so different. Thank you, Stacy. You're in on this too, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I want to show you, I want to show you this because most, most of you, maybe all of you won't know this band. Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, I'm sure mom does. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is Die Antward. Oh, Lord. 
and uh, they're they're weird. You like them or you don't. They're very <laughs> odd and weird. And I found their T-shirt uh, for their uh, one of their albums, Mount Ninji and Dance the Kid, a uh, Dance Time Kid. And I can't find this T-shirt anywhere, so I'm very excited about that. And uh, so, yeah, uh, when, when we're done, go to YouTube and look up Die Antwoord and uh, listen to one of their songs, and you'll be like, thanks a lot, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, they want to know the fabric on the flamingo shirt. It was polyester, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So I picked this up uh, again at Buffalo Exchange, 13 bucks. And hey, look. Let me get this out of the way. It's one of them old school 50-50 made in the USA oh, tags, yeah, just like yeah. I was telling you about. Yeah. And this one is for uh, old Detroit uh, Amber Ale, and I can't find this in a shirt at all. I don't think this brand even exists anymore. And so it's one of those, I just grabbed it because the fact that it's an old beer that doesn't seem to exist, and it's the vintage made in the USA shirts that people like, uh, you know, I'll probably pop it up for a minimum of 50 bucks. That's a nice one. Yeah. I like that. And let's see how quick the chat can figure this out. What's what's this T-shirt for? Let's see how quick the chat goes and answers. What's this T-shirt for? I'm looking. I'm looking. It's the only problem with the delay. You got to yeah, wait because you don't you don't want to shout the answer in case no one yeah. gets it. <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And here, I will tell you, this sat so long, it was half off. So that means this sat at Savers for five weeks. Wow. There we go. Angela got it. Yep. Dory, not Nemo. Yep. But this Dory. was a shirt that the employees would wear at the ah. uh, theaters. And so this wasn't a commercially available, ooh, excuse me, T-shirt. So on half off day, it was a buck. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it showed you it was in Dolby Cinema at AMC. So this was for an AMC employee. So yeah, so for $1... I figured some Dory fan would love that. It says Pixar on it, the whole oh, works. Yeah, for sure. We'll save that for the end. And, you know, Mom and I have talked oh, about forever. Yeah, yeah, I did meet you on these. <laughs> uh, Nick and Nora pajamas. I mean, these look brand new. Well, they are brand new. Yeah. The reason they look brand new is they are they brand are, new. They, they still have, they have the tags. Tag. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So there's the tags. Yeah. The yeah. not savers tag. And uh, these were five bucks. Yeah, it's a good still deal. got the. I mean, it's so brand oh, new. Oh, it's got the the button. button's still hanging off of it. Yeah, nice. And I've sold this owl pattern many, many times, and I'll probably get like 40, 45 for that. Yeah, those are nice. Those are real nice. All right. Okay. All right. See what we got here. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, this this one is. <laughs> Someone guessed Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guess. Now this is this is an older label. This is. Is that close enough, Jason? Yep. Highs of Hawaii. Um, it, it, it's really, it's not an expensive shirt, but I did like the print on this one, you know, because it is showing the grass shacks and it is a vintage. Uh, so I ended up paying $3.50. Now this is an extra large, guys, but as you can see, it's totally different uh, measurements than the uh, extra larges of Tommy Bahama because being vintage is going to run smaller, like we've told you many times. So, you know, that was that. But you're going to like this one. The jammers are small for those asking. Okay. This is now the reason this is no special brand, Jason, that I know of. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, classic to island designs, but I love the prints. Look at the girls. Wow, that's cool. And I, could, I mean, look at the old fat, like, bathing suits. Can't, let's see what, what are they showing here. That's really Yeah, neat. see, because these are the bathing suits from, from the later 50s, 60s. So this is what did I say? This is a 2X as well, guys. So, and this is, this pretty much looks like a true 2X. Because it's not a vintage shirt or anything. So, but I just thought the girls on this were great. Aren't they great? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, really, really neat on that. Okay. Then we're gonna get away from Hawaiian shirts. Oh, wait, I have a better I have a better picture of Diane Ward just so you can get the whole whole idea of what these two clowns are. Oh like. my goodness. Oh there you go. Oh, that's right up mom's alley. <laughs> <laughs> wait till you hear it too, it'll be even less up your alley. Oh please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this I found on the take back rack. Deb Savers. Debbie says while you're sleeping to steal your shirts. Oh, <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> uh, this, yes, this was on the take back rack, everybody. And this is the uh, older jacket from the Tropicana. And this is a size medium. And I, with my after my discount, I paid three dollars and eighty five cents for this. And I don't know, Jason, I'm looking around 40, 50 bucks. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, on the back? I'm like, no, I, that's, that's why I wish there was. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the only bummer. 
And a little, little four-leaf clover pin on it, too, which uh, I just noticed. I just noticed it, too. If you hadn't seen that, I hadn't yeah. seen that before. For luck. For luck. For luck. I, oh, I think I have to leave that on. You know, it's a kind of trans... You know, it doesn't show up, yeah. I don't think, so well here. Yeah. But that, that translucent jacket that we all wore in the... Iridescent. Iridescent. In the 90s. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, kind of stuff we would wear skiing. Yeah, it, exactly. Right, <laughs> right. So that was kind of a cool find. I was excited about that one. And today, I had saw these on the shelf, and I said, uh, oh, they were in the new come out rack and these are salad bowls that belong to lori gates collection okay they're, they're really quite pretty uh the salad bowl was sitting right next to it but sorry to say the salad bowl was had a huge crack in it and they wanted seven dollars with the crack in it so i ended up paying for both of these jason what's up my tag over there right there honey two bucks yeah for, for the pair i paid two dollars so that was good and i'm going to sell the pair between 20 and 25 and they're really in nice condition Okay. So Jerry says the Detroit beer t-shirt is made by Frankenmuth Brewery in Frankenmuth, Michigan. It's still being made. Ooh. Well, it may be still being made, but I couldn't find any shirts. I what did a quick hell? quick little research in the store. So the cool thing is there are no shirts available. Yeah. But thank you, Jerry. Thank you very much. And look what mom found today. Oh, well, I'll just go to mine next. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Uh, I found a, a pair of silver tabs. These are silver tab. Which one is this? Because I have a couple today. Low and loose. Low and loose. Low and loose. And it, it says waste 40. Show off your V if you got yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. I got one <laughs> hanging over. Um, That's not a V. I know. <laughs> waste 40, length 32, guys. Um, And I ended up only paying $5.25. Nice. And they're in pretty decent shape. We're, I think we're a little frayed at the bottom. But, you All know, right. you know not, not anything that major because the rest of the pants are in good, good condition. There's the, yeah, show the tags. Silver tabs. Silver tabs. Okay. And all right, so we got 169 watching live. How many likes do we got right now? Let's see here. Can't see my likes. Debbie, how many likes we have right now? The chat for a second, you can see it. Looks like 11. 11? Oh, what? Oh, oh, all right, my heart. <laughs> let's get some likes in there because I'm about to give you an education. Oh, yeah, on CDs, for sure, for but. Sure. But we got to see a hundred, at least a hundred likes first. Okay. We, we only have thirty-eight. All right. All right. Give us. If you like my mom, give me a thumbs up. If you don't oh. like my mom, let's fight. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pair number two. Now I haven't. I. I was a little leery on the black. Do no, they sell as well, Jason, or no? Oh yeah, black no, sell no, really okay. well. Yeah. All right. Wasn't here. <laughs> this is also a silver tab. Uh, everybody, a little bit different label. This is a silver tab baggy fit. So that was why I grabbed them too. Yeah. You know, uh, because I, I know you said the 38, 34 is like the primo size. Too. Okay. So, and I did pay a little more money for these. This was $10 and 50 cents for the pair. And again, around 50 bucks, you think, honey? Um, oh, yeah. On the blacks. And these are in really nice condition. I mean, look, you know, I mean, they, they look pretty darn new. Somebody didn't wear, wear these very long because even the black is still pretty black. Yeah, it's very black yeah, for being old. For being old. So, so there's that. Okay, and I only have a couple things left, so if you want to take over, unless you want me to finish, so. All right, 92 likes, okay. come on. All right, almost, almost. All right, but, uh, yeah, I got some silver tabs, okay. too. Okay, now let's do it. And, uh, oh, no, those aren't silver tabs, yeah. Okay. Yeah, three pair of jeans to share, so silver tabs, uh, much uh, darker rinse. Uh -huh. And these are baggies, 36s, um, and they're in pretty good shape. The, the, uh, the yeah. waist is a little wrinkly, but other than that, they're in good shape, and the darker rinse always does well. Uh-huh. These uh, were uh, so they were eleven bucks, but all green tags were two dollars, and they're not the biggest uh, jeans. They're 30, 30 34s, so uh, skinny cowboy. Yep. Uh, these are skin Skinner jean low rise boot cut, but made in the USA. And uh, I, I, didn't, I never even heard of the Skinner jean version of Levi's yeah. before, but for two dollars. Oh, that's and they're goodbye. in good shape. Yeah, that's a real good man. Guy. Yeah, they're a tall, long cowboy. Ooh, look how yep. long those legs are. <laughs> so that's why I got them because you know, not everyone is a big person. So no. that's that tall, skinny dude needs those jeans. Needs them. All right, ready for the coolest jeans? All right, let's see it. What do we got? Check out these Sears Roebuck acid wash <laughs> jeans. Those are the ones you saw. Like yeah. That? Oh, those are good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I paid nine dollars for these, but man, we all wore jeans like this. Yeah, so we sure did. <laughs> uh, and, and these sell very, very well. You know, the Roebuck are not uh, you know the most desirable brand, but these are in great shape. Yeah, those are really pant nice. legs are in great shape. So very nice. All right. Now here's the one. I'm a little uh 
I'm a little shocked by. I had a uh, little party for uh, we had a little party for the uh, Super Bowl, and the majority of our friends here are all music fans and a lot of concert goers. And if you know the band, yes, I, I'm guessing this was at their merch booth. So you got a T-shirt and you got a uh, really nice like grandma bag. I don't know what you call this. Yeah. I well, it's a fab it's fabric. Tapestry. Tapestry. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Tapestry. Yep. And uh made in the USA. So I'm guessing it's pretty old. You know, but man, it's in great shape. I know. And it's one of those things where I gotta look up the there's been many rotating members in and out of yes. So when John Anderson, Trevor Rabin, and Rick Wakeman were were yes, and only those three, that's when this tour would have been. You know, we did uh, some jazz exercise routines by yes back in the day, Jason. I mean I'm, I'm thinking maybe later eighties. Could that be right? Yeah. Yeah. And look, I just took out one of these dealies, and that isn't the one that came with Sabres. I wonder if this was sitting someplace else with a tag on oh, it yeah. for a super long time. So I got this for $3. So I figured, man, you can't pass that up because that's something you don't see. And then a quick search, none anywhere. None anywhere. Yeah. What, what do you think on that? Oh, one? I don't even know. But I mean, yet, yeah. I don't know, I'll try 50 bucks. Yep. All right. I, I'll have Once a, you finish out. I'll just have a and, couple things left. And um, this is. Like Stephanie was saying, just who's the voice coming from off screen? Well, Linda, if you just join us, we have a live studio audience yes, today. Do. Here's our live studio audience that is Stacy <laughs> and that is Stephanie. Yeah, we had a good time today, and I didn't get lost. And we, I drove with Jason's truck and had a good time. Is my baby, okay? He was only fine. Ran over a couple people, yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't get out of the way, yeah. Uh, I saw this sitting there, you guys. This is a leaded glass uh, shamrock wreath, uh, which I got for two dollars. and what, 80 cents, something like that. Yeah, $2.80. And uh, I don't know about if you've ever priced leather glass. Leather glass is very expensive. I see Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might part with this, stopper, but um, probably I'm going to put this up for about 25 bucks, maybe 30 because it's got a lot of leather yes. glass in it. And they it's, they are running. Yeah, you think 50? Yeah, you think 50? Gorgeous, Go for the yeah. 50? All right. I, I will start there. But hurry up because yeah, St. Patty's Day is coming I, I soon. Gotta, I know, I know. I got to get Don't be sleeping on that. Okay. And then will end up with my beater lap. Yay! <laughs> Mom found one to, after not going to that section right away, I said, I'm getting to that, that blanket section. Yours today. has a button on it. Yes, now this zips. What? Yeah, it has a zipper. I've Look, never seen yeah, a zip it, it, it kinda, button beater lap. Not a jacket? It, no, no, no. It, I mean, it, does, it almost looked like a sleeping bag until I unzipped it all, you guys. I mean, it does go around. It's got the uh, picture of the wolf, Jace. Uh, let's see, where are we? Are we there? But see, it zips, and it almost looks like a sleeping bag when it's zipped up. All right, flip it around for the other side. Uh -huh. and you, okay, and I did. So spend, there, there's the yeah, buttons. This was buttons a, too, yeah. yeah, this was another good buy, you guys. Three dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, and there's, so, and there's a zipper. Yeah, so like I say, it, it kind of zips up. So on this too. one, it, when you're selling one this like this, which I've never seen, uh -huh. you're definitely going to lay it out flat, both sides, and yeah. then zip it and snap it up. And, right, and, and take, show it. You know, yeah. show you got to show the versatility. When you can show versatility, yeah. show it for here's, sure. Here's my label. Very cool. All right, so, a snuggy beater lag. Yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> it, it is. It's just what it reminded mom of. So yeah. So I ended up, and I'm probably out of rooms. I don't think I can thrift anymore. Well, and, I mean, Andrew says. Um, that yes name was from 2017, so they are having a bag made in the USA oh, in 2000, 2017. Wow. So thank you, Andrew, yeah. and that's cool. I just listed another shirt that is not an old shirt today, made in the USA. So it's very cool to see some uh, some uh, brands making stuff in the USA. So yeah, and that's all Mom's got. Yay, Mom! Yay! And like I said, I got. This. I hope I can fit everything in the suitcase <laughs> to get it. If all people home. tune in right now and don't know what we're talking about, and then I just pop that picture up. They're gonna oh, be like, "What is okay. going on?" This is mom and me at a younger oh. photo. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Antonelli said that, uh, what did he say? They're stadium snugs. All right, cool. Wow. I'll have to put that in my title. Thank you, Paul. Now, I picked this up, and uh, I paid two bucks for it, and I can't find, this is a Elvis Presley hound dog. I cannot find one with this specific tag, but. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. There he goes. Oh, how cute! Video time. Oh yeah, but he works. So. Well, you know what? I'll probably get my video pulled for copyrighted music. Oh, I just realized. Oh yeah, baby. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the batteries in him didn't work, and so I put some fresh ones in, and it works. And I was showing Stephanie the other people who sell the plush hound dogs of Elvis. The worst pictures oh, ever. Really. Uh, really? They were a lot of them were out of focus, and if this was the whole picture shot, one was like this, 
<laughs> like way off to the side. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. What are you doing? Fixing, adjusting. Oh, well, we're, you're going to switch, so. I'll talk and you can hold. No, no, come over here. Mommy now? Okay, yeah. Okay. Now? So let's say goodbye to mom. Give her a big round All of applause. Right, <laughs> see you, mom. And let's welcome Stacy. Yay. Okay, while we're switching, let me ask you what, what you, if you guys would have picked this jean jacket up. You know, usually I'm looking for vintage like Levi's, Lee, Wrangler. Um, yeah, didn't even know this existed. Uh, Sperry Topsider jean jacket. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the Screams 90s right there. And, you know, I know about the shoes. Did not know they mean jean jackets. Look at the lining. I mean, hello, preppy. It was $5. It's in great shape, too. No, that's my shirt that I was wearing in a video. Oh. <laughs> you don't even know my own clothes. So what do you think? Would you guys pick up the Sperry Topsider jean jacket for 5 bucks? Absolutely. $5. Oh, yeah. Angel says she picks up every jean jacket. All right. Sorry for the... Uh, we're getting we're moving in moving out don't worry about that don't worry about that uh, scooch on in everybody welcome stacy to the show okay so everyone says yes yeah, i'm probably gonna love that what do you think you'd list the sperry topsider jean jacket on in great shape with the plaid lining <laughs> hi, <hon>. hi. <laughs> what's that look for i was waiting i don't know oh. we're having it we're putting out a question Absolutely. All right. So, uh, hi, Stacy. So, Stacy's been uh, getting really good at thrifting lately. Yeah, but I just keep everything. Yeah, well, that's their problem. <laughs> everything she's about to show you, she's keeping. <laughs> yeah, but these are great. Yeah, so. All right, so, we have a friend uh, who has a vintage store down on, well, right off of Main Street in Vegas called, uh, I always forget what it's called. The Glam Factory. The Glam Factory. Because I'm what's, too glamorous. What's Why do I not remember What that? streets it on? California. Oh, Colorado. My God, we've only lived here Colorado, years. Right off of Main Street. Right around the corner from Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> yes, very much so. Okay. So she was having this big blowout sale. So we bought, we grabbed this. Um, I don't know if the brand really matters. So if you're in town and you like vintage clothes, definitely check out the Glam Factory. Let's see Stephanie. And on a quiet day, she'll have a uh, pug or a... Uh, yeah. Does she have a French Bulldog too? She has more than one dog. two pugs. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Sure, her pug will be there on non-sale day. Pug pugish. I don't know if I can... Here, I'll do it. So talk about it. Okay. These are so your finds. well, well, no, you you made me buy it. So well, hey, it was five dollars. How can you on. not? It was five dollars. It's vintage. It's cute. There you go. Okay. Then Angela Richie's husband has never owned a jean jacket in his life. Oh wow! Till just this week. Oh, we'll stay with that place. Till this week. <laughs> <laughs> So then the next thing we found at the same at her, at the, her place. Oh, there was, I didn't think there was a tag. So here's a, here's the tag. Which I don't think is. I don't know if it is anything. Uh, it is dry clean only, but it's like, uh, what do you call it? Like a bath mat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like hold a bath up, mat. Up. I mean, collars are great on that. Does it $5. Yeah, this, that's a beauty. Isn't that great? Yeah, Actually, that's I think this was $10. Oh, was that 10? I think it was 10. That's still a good deal. Yeah. It was cool as hell. And lastly. You have to put that on because it's so weird. All right. This was $10. They were getting rid of all their the winter coats. <laughs> and it was, uh, well, here's the tag. Super wool. Super wool. <laughs> Super wool. Italian original. Yeah, it, it's, this is really cool. So, I feel like Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Sherlock. What's the female version of Sherlock Holmes? I don't know. So it's a cape jacket. But then the hood thing comes off. Uh -huh. But the cape, so you, you could be like you could be like Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Little Red Riding right. Hood. There you go. I haven't disinfected it yet. Oh well, guess what? Now you've got cooties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is. I might have to wear it in Denver. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes. See, oh, so yeah, easy. Yeah. To get rid of <laughs> Sure, Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, and then this is just, it's not that exciting, but it's cool. So this is actually from The Gap, but it was at uh, Buffalo Exchange. For $6. For, no, it wasn't a half. It was like $25. No, oh, it was, a, no, it was half. Know, yeah, I'll say six, $6.50. But I just thought it was kind of funky. Sweatshirt. Get your flash dance on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, we'll cut the sleeve, the, sh the shoulders off more. And then this we got at... A Goodwill in Boston. 
And, oh, where's the little, I gave you the little paper about it. Well, anyways, it was $15. I remember you seen, I've never seen it. But it was just a sample. I gave it to you. All right, well, if you find it while I'm doing the CDs, you can so, pop back I don't know that. if this label means anything to anybody, but it was just uh, like a run runway sample thing. It was made in Italy, and it's a long sweater oh, that's thing. Was this the Goodwill where the woman had just peed in the yes. dressing room? <laughs> yes. Jesus. The poor so like employee a... had to strap up and go in while we were ringing out. Somebody have a crazy town in Boston, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A sweater and has some pockets, and it'll keep me warm when I have to travel to the cold places. And it was only $15. That's nice. Yeah. Good job, Stacey. So there you go. All right. We also found those shoes that we're going to probably sell. The straight Converse? Yeah. Ones? Didn't you already show that? I did, but, but that's one thing you're probably going to sell, so. Well, yeah, because if I can get 150 bucks for them. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's talk about CDs. If you want to stay here, you're more than welcome to. Okay. All right. You can, because uh, we're going to be showing the CDs. All right, so like I said, I had more. I don't know where it is. I might have dispersed it into the house already. So I also had picked some CDs. So I thought, I've been teaching you guys CDs. Got my CD webinar at flippincds.com. And so might as well show you some CDs and why I bought them. Uh. Tracy Congardi is going to message you on the Clover Wreath, Mom. Okay. Uh, Debbie says, Ashen Wash are back in style. Yep, there was an article about it the other day, Price High. Uh, Mastel has a dozen of those beer lack with snap buttons wow. and zippers. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ginny said, I would have guessed you would have had Ohio tattooed on your tummy <laughs> <laughs> instead of tension. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. This is a combo of when we went to Savers, Mom and I, the other night, some old man I'm guessing probably past his whole CD collection was there probably over a hundred CDs. And it was a lot of, uh, Mario Lanza, Jerry Vale, Jackie Gleason, that kind of stuff. So I went through all of them and scanned them because some of them were worth six bucks and some were worth a hundred bucks. So I wanted to show you what I snagged. There we go. All right. This is for the old timers. How many of you know who Ferrante and Teicher are? Oh. Yeah, mom does. And and I'm, I'm going to be showing you some modern stuff, too. So if you're a little bit younger in the crowd, don't worry. But you should uh, learn Ferrante and Teicher. They were two piano players. Uh, and this is from the oldies.com collectible records. And I always check those because not all of them are worth a ton of money, but some are. And let's check out the cheapest price on Amazon for this. Oh, $89.99 new. Now, someone was wishful thinking used for $6.34. But so if someone's listing one new for 90 bucks, I'll put it up for like $70 and I paid a buck 40. Nice. All right. How many of you know Tito Puente? Uh, this, oh, gen Tito. this gentleman had a lot of Tito Puente records, uh, uh, Tito Puente CDs. And this one, we pop over back to Amazon. There's two used on Amazon. So we'll go a little bit deeper. And the 1198 is very good. And the 1298 is very good. And this one is in like new condition. So I would put it up for around $20, $24. Again, a buck 40 at Savers. Hey, how many of you heard of Tito Puente? <laughs> I have. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hop over here. Now, this was new. The cheapest new one on Amazon is $48. Let's go over to the used. Now, granted, I know a lot of you can't sell on Amazon. But this is where I base my numbers. And I can sell them on eBay, too. The cheapest like new is 13 bucks. So I'm not getting rich, rich off of this, but it was a buck 40. So easy to list. All right. We're going to go even further back. Harry James and his orchestra with oh. Frank Sinatra. Who was he married to? Look how young Frank is in this picture. Wow. Oh, do you know who Harry James is? I do not know who. My mom's about girl. to school me. Hang on. Let me put on the audience cam. Yeah, mommy, mommy's going to give you a lesson. All right. Who was Harry James married to? Let's see if the chat knows. Oh, all right. Should we, him, should we give him a chance? Yeah, chat. No, no fair, no fair googling. No fair googling. Do you know who Harry James is married to? I could give him a big hint if we don't get any answers. Frank and Harry. Mm -hmm. uh, but Velma loves Tito Puente, so. Oh, good. No, no takers yet. No takers yet. No. Hmm. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Leslie Uggams. No. Betty yeah, Grable. That's it, that's it. Betty Grable. Betty Grable. Betty Grable. Lillian won. Pinup girl known for her legs. She, she insured her legs for a million dollars back in the day. Each wow. or total? Total. <laughs> All right. I, because of how long ago that was. You know? As you can see, there's one new on Amazon for 50 and one used for 45. So I'm going to put up for about 40 bucks. Again, this was Savers, $1.40. Now, 
Obviously not the same collection, but still at Savers because I'm glad I'm guessing he didn't go from Frank Sinatra to Snoop Dogg and JT the Big Figa <laughs> presents Genoc. Now, if you took my webinar, you know you should be looking for this weird rap stuff. And here's what's cool. First, let's look at the ranking. Now, the ranking on Amazon means how quickly and well it sells. The ranking of number one sells the best. The ranking of millions sells the worst. Let's look at this ranking. 2,936,612. So typically, you would never buy that. But let's see how many are available. Oh, none. So when you see CDs that there are none available in the big rank, that's the ones you take the gamble on. And for a buck forty, and it's sealed. Oh, so what do you think it's going to change the ranking to once you sell it? I, I don't know exactly, but you know I, I'm going to do more research on the other sites that I teach about in the webinar. But uh, I, I'm going to make sure I'm in the right ballpark. But I'm going to think about a hundred bucks. So, and, and it might be more. All right, how many of you heard of Tito Puente? <laughs> that's the <laughs> <Twice. laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is Tito Puente live at Birdland, and the cheapest, like new, is thirteen bucks. So again, this is like a ten dollars CD. CDs are quick and easy to list. They're quick and easy to ship. You don't have to put a lot of time into them. Uh, and besides him having, uh, besides the Lord Gentleman loving uh, that type of music, he must have been Jewish because he had a lot of Jewish CDs. So this is you don't have to be Jewish when you're in love. The whole world is Jewish. Okay, yeah. And this CD, oop, let me pop it over here. Uh, one new for forty seven fifty and seven used to the cheapest being twenty eight ninety eight. Yes. So I will and look the cassette's even thirty bucks. So I'll probably list this and sell this for thirty dollars. Uh yeah, this is mainly written in Yiddish, so this will definitely be a Jewish double C D. And we've go to Amazon. There's three new and used, and the cheapest is sixty dollars. Oh wow. Jeez. Yeah, so I'm looking at sixty bucks on this one. Woo. Oh, Great question. How do I get the webinar? Head on over to www.flippin. Uh, uh, typo. No typos. <laughs> Flippincds.com. And that'll give you all the information. Uh, somebody who just took the webinar found a, a CD from uh, an actual CD from the webinar, flipped it, paid for half the webinar, one CD. He finds one more. Webinar is paid and the rest is just gravy. All right. Now, you saw the big ranking and so we saw the big ranking on CD. Now let's look at the big ranking on Jewish. Close to two, where, where is it? Yeah, 2,039,000. But again, there are none. There's none on eBay. There's none on Amazon. Whoops, go away. There we go. 56 hilarious hits by Mickey Katz. Who knows Mickey Katz? All right, so that excites me. A double CD with none on Amazon, none on eBay. So again, uh, this is where, this is where old Jewish comedians mesh up with brand new rappers, <laughs> because these are both in the two millions, uh, and no one has any. So I'm very excited. When no one has any, that's when you get excited. All right, how many of you know? Oops, took me off the screen already. How do you know? Blood, how many of you know? Blood, sweat, and tears. Oh yeah, love them. So now I'm shopping at Amoeba. I paid ten bucks for this. And if we go over to Amazon, the cheapest new is one hundred and seventy dollars. Now this one's not new, but the cheapest like new is fifty bucks. Nice. Uh, so let me pop over here. I see some questions. Mm -hmm. If a CD is missing the paper from the back, does it diminish the value a lot? Yes, it does. Uh, but, 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 but. Uh, but it doesn't. It's not a done deal. If you're missing both the front and the back, even if it's a rare CD, it's really it's a tough sell. All right. How many of you have ever heard of this singer? It's kind of unknown. Elvis. <laughs> so I paid a 20 bucks for this Elvis CD. And if we look over here on Amazon, uh, used from 35 and new from 55. And this is new. So I paid 20 bucks and I'm probably going to sell it for it in the neighborhood of 50, $55. All right. How many of you know the Avengers? And I don't mean the one with Captain America and the Hulk. This was a British TV show, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. So this was the soundtrack to the British TV show, and I paid eight bucks, and it's in like new condition, and they only have two used in good condition for ten bucks, and the cheapest new is forty. So I will list this like new for thirty dollars. Nice. All right, how many of you know new wave hits of the eighties? Let's see how many of the bands we know: Art of Noise, General Public, Bronski Beat. 
what are the songs? Bluey some, Corey Hart. Ooh. But some of the, some oh, I was I'm a, I, all those ones I named off I know I don't know some of these Miracle Legion Rubber Rodeo the Color Field, oh but I don't care if I know them or not because this is brand new and sealed and the cheapest one on Amazon is thirty three fifty and I paid eight bucks. Nice. All right, how many of you know the New York Dolls? No, no. you neither. Nope. Okay, the lead singer had a huge hit in the 80s under another name, and he's in one of the most popular Christmas movies of all time. You all know the song he made in the 80s as his alter ego. Yes, our lot got it. Buster Poindexter. Everyone is hot, hot, hot. Yep, yep, That's yep. David Johansson who turned into Buster Poindexter. And what Christmas movie is he in? Not for you, Stacy. You 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 all probably watch it at least yeah. once at Christmas. Oh, man. Who knows? Home Alone. I don't know. Nope, not Home Alone, but good guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, we have 175 Arlop. viewers. Arlop got it. Huh? Got oh, it. I didn't see it. Scrooge. Oh, he Scrooge. is the taxi diver in Scrooge. Yeah, the uh, goes to Christmas past, I think. Right. Well, he's the one that takes them to all the. Oh, I didn't even share the CD, did I? <laughs> got so excited. So I paid ten bucks, and the cheapest use is thirty two dollars. Well, the cheapest new is twenty nine, so I'll probably sell it for twenty five dollars. All right, anyone know the Stranglers? I uh, got that for thirteen bucks at Amoeba, and there's only one used on Amazon for forty nine dollars. And let's see the condition of it. A little trivia: uh, it's on the jukebox at the Double Down. Yep. Oh, so we just heard it last night. So they got it for forty nine, very good. And this one's got a couple light marks. So I'll call it very good too. So I'll probably sell it in the forty seven dollar range. All right, what's next? How many of you know? You can tell I don't know because I'm like, what's that say? <laughs> <laughs> How many of you know the band Creation? No. Yeah, I have no clue. You don't know Creation? Uh, and I paid eight dollars. We pop over to Amazon. The cheapest used is twenty six, and the cheapest new is forty five. So once I see that, I'm good to pick it up and roll with it. Ooh, and try to find it on vinyl. How many of you know Killdozer? Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> but again. I look it up on uh, Amazon, only four used for 26 bucks. I paid $10. Let's see what the condition is. Uh, like new is 45 bucks. So I will flip it for that. All right. Any, uh, I'm actually, none of those people, anyone knows. Anyone know Bikini Kill? Because I know Bikini yeah, Kill. I know, right? huh? Do I know that? Probably. They were uh, one of the early bands on the Kill Rockstars uh, label out of Olympia, Washington during the time of like, Grunge and junk. <laughs> so Bikini Kill, I paid 13 bucks. They were nice enough to tell me it's out of print. And if I found it new on Amazon, it'd be $75. But the cheapest like new is $79. So I can't go above the new, but I'll put it I'll put it up for 60 bucks. Nice. All right, so I wanted to definitely show you this one uh, for a fun little bonus story. This is Shannon Kerfman. She's a uh, she started as a teenage uh, guitar. She's a white female blues guitarist. Not very common with red hair. Not very common at all. I paid ten bucks, and as you can see, new one sells for eighty, and there's ten new uh, ten used, and the cheapest like new condition is there is none. So I'll just price it a little under eighty. But anyway. One time I get a CD sale and the address says Shannon Kerfman. And I'm like, could be a lot of Shannon Kerfman's. So I look up where the blues guitar Shannon Kerfman lives and it's her. Oh I'm sending a CD to her and I like her. I have her in my collection. So I wrote her a note and she must've thought I was a weird stalker because she never wrote back. <laughs> so, there's my, so there's my story. <laughs> Jason, are these CDs in a bin or same location in the store? Well, this is a CD store, so they're everywhere. I'm not, I don't I don't exactly understand your question, Paul. Do you? No. Okay. These are from a CD store, so the whole store is. It was from a thrift store. Didn't yeah, the first it. half was from Savers, and they're on end caps. Uh, and the second half has been from Sa uh, from Amoeba, which is a big ass CD record store. But if you want to clarify, I'll be happy to answer that. All right, and then the last one I'm going to share with you on Amazon is. Oops. How many of you know Leroy Carr? God, you're so obscure. 
Bye, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie's got to run. Yeah, I got three more CDs to show you. Yeah, I didn't know Leroy Carr, but if you look at Amazon, I paid nine dollars, and there's five new and used from forty-five. And this is a two CD cent called the Essential, and the cheapest like new is seventy dollars. And this was kind of cool. Uh, this is the rare four CD soundtrack version of Titanic. And all I can find was them selling for $90 on eBay. I can't even find the listing for this on Amazon. When you scan it, the vinyl version comes up, but there is no connected CD version. So I might actually have to add it to Amazon. All right. So when you go into the store, are you going through the entire alphabet of CDs just to look at the obscure titles? Pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. That's how we spend four or five hours in the CD <laughs> store. <laughs> and then this, uh, oh, what happened? I had it open and it went bye-bye. So this one is the one I took a gamble on. It was... Uh, you didn't type in meat, right? I didn't? Mm -hmm. You only had one E. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh I couldn't find this again. This was there was no listing on Amazon for this, and I did find it sold for fifty dollars on eBay, and it comes up as a video game soundtrack, which we talked quite a bit about in the, the webinar. And I paid twenty five bucks, so I see one sold for fifty four, and so if I just double the money, that's still cool because again, CDs are quick and easy to list and even quicker to ship. All right, I'm end on my best find. How many of you have ever heard of Kid Rock? Let's check the audience. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. We finally found the one artist besides Elvis that everyone knew. Kid Rock has two out-of-print CDs. And at Amoeba, they have a section of out-of-print CDs right as you walk in. And it's a little section. And so I always go through there first. They, they definitely charge a yeah, top dollar. So this is one of them that's out-of-print, the Polyfuse Method. There you go. I paid forty dollars for it. Okay, and the most kick-ass part is I walked over to the Kid Rock section. I'm like, "What are the chances there's more than one?" Oh, hey, there was. Oh so I paid forty dollars each, and the last one sold on eBay for one hundred dollars. Nice. And there's one that was new that sold for one eighty. Another used one that sold for one twenty five. So at the minimum, I'm going to sell these for one hundred dollars each. But I do have them listed higher, and I'm going to put one on eBay and one on Amazon and put them in the hundred and fifty dollar range. Nice. Because you cannot find the CD anywhere, and he lost the master tapes to him, so it'll never come out this way again. All right. So there, you guys lucked out and got some free, uh, not free. Well, yeah, free, free CD knowledge because I can't find the. <laughs> My thrifted goodies, but I also thrifted some CDs. So, so as you can see, just that stack of CDs is going to be, you know, yeah, $1,500, yeah. give or take. Yeah. I mean, because this is a couple hundred right here, just in these two. So CDs are fun. They're easy. And my two and a half hour webinar, FlippinCDs.com, will teach you all of that. I mean, there is so much content there. Your head will explode. I got to go back and watch that. And Seeker Beachcombers, I know you guys have been waiting for the list. It's about uh, two-thirds done. I wanted to give you guys a front and back, like, 150 to 200 list, and I'm at about uh, 107 right now. So I'll get that finished up, and I'll get that list out to you in the next two weeks. And that way, uh, if you've taken the webinar, you can now take the list into the record store. And it, if you're good at it, you can go search for the weird stuff like Paul was talking about. Uh and if you aren't good at it, you can use this list. And if you are good at it and you have a significant other who isn't all that good at it, anyone can read a list. So, what? you know that what I'm saying? a much better way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the nutty knowledge I do in this kind of stuff. But it's right. easy so to the, take the for list. For you normal people that yes. aren't nerds, this is that list. <laughs> so, I uh, want to know if uh, I want to do my wife. She helps me with it. She has a career. But she uh, helps me with it, and especially uh, it likes vintage shops, and she's pretty good in the record store. Yeah, yeah. She watched the webinar, and she's like, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, everyone. There is no thrifty business this week because I will be in Denver, and we have another sign-up today for the Denver class. We only have a couple slots left. If you want to take my Denver thrifting class, uh, just hit me up on Facebook, and I will get you all set up. The class is this Friday from 9 to 1, and then we go have lunch for a couple hours. So you basically get me for six total hours help you with anything you want in the thrift and uh in the thrift stores and with your ebay business so and we both have a show sunday 
And we won't have a show Sunday either because my mom is here now, but her two sisters and her best friend are joining her. So I'm about to have, I'm going to get back from Denver for the house full of old ladies. Maybe maybe down, we'll get stuck in Denver. 80 down to 67. Yeah, 67 <laughs> to 80. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun planned for them. So uh, yeah, but then next week we'll be back onto our normal schedule. And uh, that's it. It's 601. Go play uh, HQ Trivia. Oh, yeah. Bye, everybody. Thumbs See up. you later. Thumbs up. Bye.